Most of the buildings around Mears Park in St. Paul's Lower Town were originally built in the late 1800s as factories. In the 1960s, the great-granddaughter of one of their owners would be known as the Factory Girl. Two brothers, Charles and Daniel Noyes, came to Minnesota in 1868. They partnered with Edward Cutler and opened a drug wholesale and pharmacy company. The Noyes brothers married a pair of sisters. Daniel married Helen Gilman, and Charles married her sister, Emily. Noyes and Cutler became the largest drug wholesaler in the Northwest, and they built a new headquarters at the corner of 6th and Sibley in 1889. Charles and Emily's daughter, Julia, grew up, married Henry DeForest, and moved to Long Island. Julia's daughter, Alice, married Francis Minturn Sedgwick, who was very wealthy, but also struggled with mental illness. The Sedgwicks had eight children. The youngest was Edith. By 1964, Edie decided to leave college for New York City to pursue modeling. She joined the party circuit and met artist Andy Warhol. She began making films with Warhol and living at his infamous factory. In 1965, she was dubbed a superstar by Andy Warhol. She also became close friends with Bob Dylan, another Minnesota connection, and she had a big crush on him. Unfortunately, Dylan had already secretly married Sarah Lowndes. She was also deeply addicted to drugs and alcohol. Edie Sedgwick died of an overdose at the age of 28 in 1971. That same year, although no longer owned by the Noyes family, the Noyes and Cutler building was remodeled into retail shops, restaurants, and offices, and was renamed Park Square Court.